all the numbers for, for a burger, it was $2,000. I don't know what's going on. Man, Ryan, watch out. Ryan, boy, I ain't gonna lie. See that treehouse for Mardi Gras? I had got stuck. Boy, that treehouse was something serious. Lord, that mercy. Besides, nah, I ain't gonna say that. But yeah, though. Boy, they got a lot going on and see the city on fire right now. Bringing guns to a so this was somebody that sent me. Let me see that screenshot right quick. So this was the screenshot I see. Which one? Yeah, New Orleans is dangerous. <laughs> no. <laughs> so the screenshot say Black was jumped and shot while pregnant with twins. See bald head as mama was stabbed in the head. They killed fat man. And then they say, I was on C Ball Head as live, and she says someone named Cakes stabbed her mom in the head. C is black cousin, and I guess they went to fight the girl Yaya. What Yaya, my cousin? And the men that were with Yaya, yeah, that's my cousin, uh huh, started shooting. But wait, there's more. BC Powder, B Speaks. Innocent twin and about 15 other people was at NOPD headquarters this morning attempting to get an apology for the young man that the cop pushed at the parade. BC Powder took them from the mama and kind of cut her off, but the mama didn't seem bothered. I noticed it though. Then B Speaks wanted to say something, and BC Powder refused to give. B speaks the mic. <laughs> Key, today was a time in New Orleans. What had happened? Please press the button. Now, what's going on? They say New Orleans is rolling. What then happened? What's going on? What's going on in the city? Who had... Then they say... Then it said the 911 dispatcher. The 911 dispatcher up, she's, I don't know, she was saying she didn't want me to say nothing on my live. Next thing I know, she wearing her storyline out. Saying that they may. Y'all gets on this internet and plays with people's jobs, plays with people's families and all that. Y'all goes deep in this city. Mm -hmm. Wait till I get in the office and be the mail. Bitch, I'm bringing in the army. Mm -hmm. Go bring in the army. We got to bring the army. The New Orleans need the army. This is a time in this city. I just saw Black for Mardi Gras. Happy with her old man. Had her Mardi Gras clothes on with her pregnant stomach. Nah. Black was on the ground. All her legs shot off. I want y'all to stop lying on me before somebody get embarrassed. Uh-oh. Now, what they said about y'all day? Yeah, see, they was waiting to press this button. It's rolling. <laughs> Something is rolling. Y'all day said they better stop playing with her. Y'all day, what's going on? We were just in the treehouse acting crazy. We had a ball. Listen, that fucking treehouse was a time Tuesday. If y'all missed it, y'all missed the party. Tell you. Everybody upset about taxes, so they fighting and shooting. I don't know what's going on. Congratulations to Nini, Niganga. Niganga got the ten thousand dollars from the um New Orleans um what it was the New Orleans baddies or something. Congratulations, she got the ten thousand. I don't know. The girl leagues was not shut off. Y'all going for oh, see what I'm saying? Well, what happened? The stuff. Stand. Oh, something going on in the comments. They're swinging in the comments. Get on it. They're swinging in the comments. What's going on now? Why? Why I saw five thousand on the cash app? Thank you, fam. Thank. Like I got out in the nick of time, huh? 
they was rolling the day in New Orleans. <laughs> Bitch, it was the Dukes of Hazzards. Mm-hmm. While waiting on Tiffany to come up, because Tiffany is going to explain to us what happened. Because uh, Tiffany couldn't get up her, her word out. Tiffany couldn't get... um. Tiffany couldn't get her story out at the headquarters because other people who was there made it about them. Mm -hmm. So they didn't get a chance to discuss um, the topic at hand because um, other people there had other agendas. Mm -hmm. So let's see what's, what's that. So that we got to see bring Tiffany up so we can see what's going on. So Tiffany, if you're on here, press the button. And let's see what's going on. Meanwhile, let's bring up these. 702 people trying to come on here. What do 702 people got to say? All right. The first one declined. That's what you say, bullets and bonnets. <laughs> bullets, bonnets, and legs gone. Girl, that's not funny. What's going I, on? I didn't mean to press the button, my bad. All right, we'll press the button and get off, man. Be careful. You in New Orleans? Yeah, I'm in New Orleans. We rode the Metro security out last night. Oh, that was y'all stuffed the security in the back of the um, club? Yeah. What happened while you're here? What happened? No, they they hit my sister, Black Riri. Riri, oh. We oh, got to stop. We re you, beat up four of them. She beat all four of them. Why they put me out of the club? We'll beat that bitch. So wait, so wait, there was y'all in the back there by the ball fighting? Yeah. Why? What happened? How it started? Huh? How it started, fam. What's going on either? Oh, they say black legs gone. That's cold blooded. Black was just so happy the other day. I don't know what's going on. Wait, this is the girl. I think this is the girl right here who stole your, your money trying to come up. I think I got her blocked, though. I think. What she wants to talk about? She's just scamming me out the money. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that to talk about. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm over it. What they disappeared? Season two, Down South Bay is coming soon. Tune in. Look, y'all got to make up your mind. Either the league's gone or the league's ain't gone now. Nah. But how did Black get into it with Yaya? The floor is open. Now, nah, everybody don't get scared now. Nah. The floor open. They had the ex NOPD um Now look at this page trying to come up. This is the burn page. I ain't bring no burn page up here. The league's wide open. Uh uh. I ain't bring you up here. Tiffany, if you're on here, you gotta send a request, fam. Girl, look at Miami. What Miami said? <laughs> Queen Miss Nell, they're shooting and fighting in the night while they scam be dazzled, black legs gone, someone got stabbed in the head, and five Kirby water available. <laughs> Sound about right. That summed it up fast. Oh, man. Damn, they got boot cool people trying to come up here. Wait. Before all y'all come up here, we trying to add, bitch, they got future trying to come up. Somebody called the biggest op. I'm trying to bring Tiffany up here. I just texted Tiffany. Tiffany said she was ready to go live. So meanwhile, why we waiting on Tiffany to come up? So Mardi Gras was nice, y'all. Mardi Gras was really nice. Um, I had fun on the floats. Um, the floats was fun. You know what I'm saying? I had fun. I had a lot of fun. Um, but you know, I, I, I said about the bands. I said 
said about the bands, you know, I got to see. I just feel like the high school band, and this is my opinion, and NOPD don't give a fuck. I don't know what's going on. NOPD was probably tired. NOPD was probably tired because of Mardi Gras and all that. They wasn't expecting for all that to go on today and all that. You see what I'm saying? But um, I feel like, I do feel like um, the high school band of Mardi Gras 2024, I, I got to say, this is my opinion, but I got to give it the call. I got to give it the call. Call Road. Call had people thinking it was a college band. Call had people thinking it was a university. I got to give it the call. Call looked and sounded real fucking good, bro. You know what I'm saying? Call really looked good. Now, as far as St. Og, St. Og looked good, but. Ain't all ain't what it used to be when when Hamp was there. You know, I got to see that part. You know, I mean, Saint All go be Saint All. You know, but when Hamp was the band director, I don't give a fuck if it was Southern University, Fam, you whoever could have been in the parade. Saint All was gonna be the first band leading the parade. You know what I'm saying? Saint All just ain't what it is no more. You know what I'm saying? Like they just they just look look like they ain't got no more discipline. They're not disciplined like. It used to be like just St. Aug ain't St. Aug for me no more. You know, St. Aug is gonna be St. Aug, but St. Aug ain't what it used to be when Hamp was there. I don't see the discipline no more and stuff like that. But I gotta give it the call, and that's just my opinion. I think Call represented itself well, and Call did their big one. I gotta give it the call. My opinion, Call did their big one. Okay, there go Tiffany. We about to get the. So this is my friend Tiffany. I've been knowing Tiffany at least twenty years. Tiffany out the six wall. Tiffany used to used to be a gangster in the street, you know what I'm saying? But she always held herself as a lady. Um, um, Tiffany always carried herself as a lady. Tiffany is nice. Tiffany gave the shirt off her back. But there was Tiffany Child who the police pushed in the street. So um, I'm about to bring Tiffany up and we will get the story of really what happened because you bitches are making a story up out of anything. Y'all could see something. And, and then don't know what's going on and insinuate what y'all thought went on and then come up with y'all own story. So I'm about to bring Tiffany up and she's going to tell us what happened with her son. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's going on, Fat? Nothing much is going on. Now, what's, what's, well, now what then happened now? So Thursday, um, during the Muses Parade, um, you know, BJ March Landry. That's my son, you know, with Brandon. So he, he they, they stopped at the um, corner of St. Charles and Canal Street. When they stopped, they stopped directly behind this police officer, um, Officer Alfred Russell. The officer's back was towards the parade because he was focused on talking to some deputy sheriffs. So the, the uh, officer was not in the way at all. But then he proceeded to take two steps back. And when he took the two steps back, he bumped into BJ. And then that's when he turned, turned around and pushed him and told him, to, you know, get out the, get out his way. Like he pushed him with his elbow. And, you know, that's what BJ questioned him. Like, you know, what's wrong with you? And his bandmate as well, you know, got in between, intervened, asked him, you know, why, um, why did you push him? He told my son to do something about it. So he was being very disrespectful, but BJ didn't, you know, his friend took that's him keep calling my phone. His friend um intervened. And so then that's when they just, you know, kept on going. But his mama is gonna do something about it. Because that means you blatantly disrespecting my child, pushing him. You should have been knowing your whereabouts. It wasn't about him blowing his horn in the ear. He bumped into my son and got mad my son was right there when he backed into him. Right. And so, you know, that's when he told him to do something about it, trying to initiate my child to be um, what do you call it? Uh, retaliate or you know, be physical with the police officer so they could take him to jail. And that's but not gonna happen, baby. 
So what your son did wrong? He was in a parade, which is in the street. He was marching with his school, as he should. It's my right. Right. So I'm trying to find out what, why, how could the police justify him pushing them? Like he didn't do that. They never justified it, and that's the thing. It's still under investigation. So the first step to being under investigation, well, in this instance, was to take him off that route. So that's why they only took him off the route. But he's still working. He's still getting paid. Um, I was told that he cannot be um, suspended without pay or anything right now because he's protected by the union. Yeah, not, you know, that's his okay, civil service. Uh, let me say how civil, I was about to say that. So let's how civil service work. So say you work for, I'm just saying, okay, say you work for the sheriff's office. Mm -hmm. When you work for the sheriff's office, the sheriff's office works at the leisure of the sheriff, which means that I could be the sheriff today. You could be in the work at the sheriff's office for 30 years. Mm -hmm. If I don't like you, if I don't want to employ you, I can say, you know what, your service is no longer needed, and you can go about your business. I ain't got to give an explanation or nothing. That's how the sheriff's office is set up. Mm -hmm. But when you're working mm -hmm. for a police department, NOPD, Kenner Police, Gretna Police, any kind of police department, they're covered under civil service. So they can be suspended for 30 days, they could be suspended for a year, they could be suspended for six months, however they go, because under civil service, they're always covered under civil service. So that's the good thing about working under civil service. So no, he he possibly, of course, won't lose his job, they'll probably reassign him or suspend him for 90 days or 120 days, and then and then when he come back to work, he won't just work, he'll work for a different district or something, or he'll be reassigned to something else. Right. At first, when it first happened, my son didn't want me to put it out there because he just don't like, you know, this type of attention. But it's a, it's it made it all the way to Ireland and, and um Sydney, Australia. It's 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 international now. It's gotten the attention of some high people, you know, some real he hard hitters, heavy hitters now. Attorney Ben Crump. I'm not sure if you know who he is. Yeah, I know Ben Crump. That's yeah, he he, you know, he's supporting and you know. I talk to a lot of government officials down here as well. I do have a sit down plan with the um, chief of police next week. That's being set up by the chief of um, PIB. You know, when you're filing a complaint on NOPD, you have to go to PIB. So they've been very responding. I haven't heard anything from the school because I think the um, only thing I, only person I spoke to was the CEO of the um, LGS Charter School. She called and said that you know they had initiated a complaint. So I think well, that, th I think the, I think the situation I think the situation is very minor. We could agree to that. But we'll make it not we'll make it big for the people is if the shoe was on the other foot. Now if it was your son would have walked up and bumped him, you know your child would right. go to jail for simple battery. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It may sound oh he didn't but nudge him, but at the end of the day, if the shoe's on the other foot, your child wouldn't have went to jail for simple battery. Trust no, other than known, he wouldn't he would have went to jail for battery on a police officer. Right. You see what I'm saying? Which is a felony. Right. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, it's way bigger foot, than it would have been handled different. Right. It's way so bigger than jail. Go forward. Go I, oh, I'm not, not stopping until I get results. I have reached out to Jeff Landry, the governor um office. Look, he when he told my son to do something about it, he he got the right mama. I'm gonna do something about it. Thing is, it's far beyond the push. It's about him accepting his accountability. Okay, he has to be held accountable for his actions. My thing is, if this was to happen with no cameras around, what could have been the outcome? Yeah, that's true. If my son initiated the contact, like you say, he would have went to jail. My my other concern is that the three deputy sheriffs. Just, you know, one of them pushed his friend and just demanded that BJ and, you know, um, his friend keep going, keep it going. Police, I don't care if y'all, you know, both, y'all both in that line of duty. Y'all should have told him, you know, checked him right then and there, the officer. But it was yeah. as if everything was all good and just go ahead on and move along. You publicly embarrassed my son in front of millions. I say millions not because of how viral it went. Right. I mean... I don't know if y'all know where Ireland is. That's in Europe. And Sydney, Australia is on the continent of Oceania. That's how far this stuff they made it. And my son has has, has been public, publicly embarrassed. His outlook on life has changed. It's like he feel like, you know, the positiveness, the positivity that he does um, is all in vain. He's like, the city don't show no love because of the police. You know, so don't try to alter my, my son's way of thinking. Like what he does is in vain. Right. That's my thing.
thing. It's way beyond the push. And if you notice how he pushed my child, like he, you know, he pushed him enough to bump him into the other boy and, and bruise his lip, he could have knocked my child's teeth out. Yeah, because of the horn, the, the mouthpiece and all that. Right. You're not, ne you're not never supposed to bump a child while they're blowing the horn. That's band 101. Why would you have this type of person with this mentality and thought process be a servant of the, pol you know, of the, uh, of the community as a police officer with that kind of mindset? And he have all, he have other um, uh, misconduct, uh, misconduct uh, complaints against him. When I talked to Times Picayuna, they they told they was telling me his background. This police officer, I, my phone been ringing all day, every day since last week when I put it out. So earlier, different earlier, reporters earlier, and news was, so, so earlier, what was the, I mean, not actually what because we all know what happened. We saw the video, but I'm just trying to find out what was the, what was the reason for the, 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 for the, the rally the, today? Yeah. So Byron Cole, he uh, reached out to me like Monday or something, Sunday or Monday. And he was like, you know, I want to, um, go out and do a rally. I would like for you to stand beside me, he said, in this matter, because if I just go out there myself, it's going to be like I'm ch I'm cloud chasing. I don't want people to think I'm cloud chasing. He said, I want to, you know, um, raise awareness of everything with your son. I already know it's been getting a lot of attention. It's, it's, it's gone very viral. But I told him, I said, I told him that day, I said, I don't really agree with your antics. The way you, you know, you like to curse and stuff. I said, I don't want to associate my child with none of that. I said, but I have no problem with going and have a peaceful protest, you know, if that's what you want to do. He still, I promise, I'm not going to curse. You know, I do understand your child Your child is an adolescent, and, you know, I'm not going to do all that. Okay, so the beginning of the, the rally, it went fine. Um, I asked. Be, spe be speaks to speak because she came out there in support of my son as well. She said, Mom, do you want me to say something? I said, sure, go ahead and say something. When she went to get the mic from him, you know, and say a few words, he told her, you know, no, just blatantly no. And that caused some friction between them two, and it just kind of went left from there. Once that happened, I removed myself from the whole thing because, again, I don't want to associate myself or my son with None of that extra stuff, you know, that they have going on. Um, as far as the, the uh, Byron Cole and some other people that was out there trying to get into the headquarters, um, I think he was trying to get a reaction or, or reach out to Kirk Patrick, which is our new superintendent. And they had the doors locked. They, were, they refused entry. So that's when it really went left. And I told him I was removing myself. You know, I just didn't want my my situation and my son's situation that's something else that's personal who was gone on after that so i was just you know out there to kind of raise additional awareness i had no idea who was going to change you know into what it did because yeah. the video the video all the videos they sent me from out there it was nothing pertains to what you know to you what you and the boy had going on it was something yeah. totally different yeah that was something totally Totally different. <laughs> I, I told him, I, I let him know, I said, well, I'm going to go ahead on and remove myself. Once he told B speak, she couldn't speak. You know, that kind of took me took me aback, and I didn't know they had issues. And she was like, you know, she stood up for herself. She felt like he was in selling her character. And I, I just told him, I said, well, you know, I'm just going to go ahead on and remove myself because I don't want my son's situation affiliated with any of the rest of the stuff. That's crazy. What's the officer name, Tiff? Alfred Russell. He's, I, I've been told that he's a veteran of over like 25 years, about 25 years, they told me. So my thing is, the, all the other um, misconduct complaints, they obviously didn't go anywhere. They didn't do anything. I heard he's a sergeant as well. So, you know, it's, it's going to be a major fight, you know, a battle. But my thing is, I know that it's hard for people to find jobs and stuff. I never want to go you know, for this guy's job. But once my son told me, you know, he was like, well, do something about it. Because he pushed my son and they told him to do something about it. Oh, now, now I'm pissed. Right. Now I'm pissed. So, you know, I want, like, real justice. I don't want no slap on the wrist. wrist. Mm -hmm. Nobody. I haven't heard anything from actual 
NOPD. I've only talked to the PIB sergeant and um, OIPM, which is the Orleans um, Independent Police Monitor. Mm -hmm. I've talked to them. They are separate entities. So, you know, I've, I've not heard anything from the actual NOPD officers or even that officer, but I do think, I, I think he's going to be in a sit down next week. I'm not sure who's all going to be in attendance, but I'm pushing it. You know, this is just to, 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 to raise awareness. And you know, this is a lesson, a lesson learned and taught. Don't, don't touch my child. For no reason. Public embarrassment. That's right. That's out here really doing what he's supposed to do, staying on business, because you got good children, staying on business, doing what he's supposed to do in school, a good school, trying to handle a business to get out of school, right. marching in the band, you know. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, and he just, you know, my son, he just really didn't want the exposure. He just kind of feels some type of way about that, but I told him, you know what? I advocate for people for a living. That's what I do, and I'm definitely going to advocate for my son. So that's just the gist of it. It's, it's, it's way beyond the push. You know what I'm saying? It's how my child feel mentally now. It's, 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 it's deeper than that. It took me 18 years to raise my son to, to be the person that he is today. Y'all not going to mess with his character from one incident. All those years of raising him with val values and morals and yes, ma'am, and yes, sir. Y'all not about to change my child's mindset. No, indeed. That's what set him apart from the others. So it's way deeper than that. You know, he have anger issues, I guess, whoever that Officer Russell is. But he messed with the right kid and the wrong mama. I got my son. Hard. It's already hard for them, you know, for them kids anyway. Then he's young, right. black. You know what I'm saying? It's already hard for him anyway. And then for him to be doing the right thing and, 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 and possibly or almost kind of could have got messed over if he would have reacted. Like any other human being would have done, reacted, but he didn't react. Right. Thank God his friend was there to at least pull him back and say, you know, man, chill, you know, whatever the case may be. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. but I, I yeah, they rose up above people. adversity that night. They definitely ro rose above adversity. I, I sh send a major shout out to his friend Jerome because he always go to bat. He had my son back, but then, you know, Jerome was like, let's go, B, let's just go. You know, that could have easily turned into a situation where BJ re retaliated or reacted. And they got my son on the ground, you know, can't breathe, you know, whatever. It could have been major. Yeah, it could have I'm just saying I'm glad, I'm glad he, th I, I taught my son to think first. Don't ever act off impulse. You know, it's kind of easily stated. And that's the biggest problem with, 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 with us, with us blacks. We, most of us, most of us, we act before we think. Right. If we start thinking before we act, a lot of these situations wouldn't be as bad as they are today. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, a lot of shit could be resolved in a better way if we was to start thinking before we react. Right. Some people just react and then think later. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I know you're going to stand on business. I've been knowing you for years. I know you're going to handle the business for sure. Well, I'm definitely standing on all 10, Keith. Oh, I know you're going to put, your, you gonna put your, um, your, your seven inch heels on and, <laughs> and walk up in that hole like, what's up? I already know what's going on. You see what I'm saying? I'm just waiting for them to let me know the date. They've been, now, they have been diligent. The PIB's office. Um, the chief and the deputy chief, uh, they have very, very much so been keeping me updated with everything. And like I say, um, Chief Kirkpatrick knows about the situation. I've reached out to Cantrell. I'm not sure if she'll be in attendance, but I've heard she's been notified as well. She yeah, was she in Vegas. It. She know yeah. about it. So, you know, I'm just, I just want the awareness. You know, it's about, it's, it's deeper than just a push. It's way deeper than that. You yeah, know what I'm is. saying? It is, especially not. Yeah, it could have been different. Right. But yeah, you, I know you gonna stand on business, and you know, they, like I said, they had all kind of stories going on, and this and that. He blew the horn, his in all that, which of course, you know, people gonna say what they want to say because they don't know what's going on, so they go insinuate what right. they want to insinuate. But you cleared it up, and I know you gonna handle business. But if you know, you know, if you need the people behind you. <laughs> <laughs> You know we gonna pull up, pull over, and hop out. What's that's, up? You know. That's another thing I wanted to say. The city has shown so much support. Like you know, we always going against each other sometimes. But man, when I tell you the support been real from the city, like it's been real. Like everybody, you know, it's kind of like we got your back. You know, we have you have our support and stuff like that. It's I just look at it.
it is if it was your child, what would you do? You know what I'm saying? Besides being physical and besides saying, no, oh, I'd have been in jail. What would you do? You know, it's not always about being ignorant. It's not always about fussing and fighting with the police. Because if you do it that way, you're not going to get no results. Like, I'm going to keep pushing. Yeah, you're right. That's all. That's all I could do. You're right. Well, you let us know if you need anything, too. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, Keith. All right. I'm going to call you. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, you. Yeah, they were for the mess. But they got, they got, what well, they went down. Now they got 203 people trying to get in here. So I'm going to start adding people. This is like a person laying on here naked. Profile picture. So I'm going to add this person first. I'm. We can't hear you, whoever this is. Hello? Yeah, you can hear me? Yeah, what's up? Okay, so, so basically I had been listening. I just chived in. I just wanted to say this. Add on to what she was saying. Right. But get off. That man at a police officer that pushed that, that little boy, like I said, he is. He's doing everything he's supposed to do as a kid. He's walking a straight line. I feel like that officer, I don't give a damn how long he been on the task force or whatever the situation may be. He should be punished for the simple fact if that child tipped you off and had you gone off like that, because he, you know, you don't need to be on it. He don't need to be on the line because that means he have a temper. So if you have a temper like that, you don't need to be. You ready to kill? You ready mm -hmm. to kill? You ready to fight? You ready? To, and he don't need to be on the line. Simple as just simple. She 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 summed it up when she said everything she said. But I had child then, like I said, I'm just getting at it, and I know she's off. But I just wanted to say that he basically needs to be punished. He needs to be made out of an example because if that child, you know, made you that angry to want to push him, then you have a temper. You have and a he temper. made you angry. He made you angry because you bumped into him, and you you he made you angry. You Absolutely. bumped into him, and he made you angry. What the fuck? Absolutely. And like the, I have a son. I have one son. That could have been any of our son that's on here. And like you said, he looked like he's a good kid. Any other kid would have turned around and fought his ass and it could have turned out wrong. They would have beat him down to the ground with it, the horn. I'm telling you what they would have beat him, probably would have fucking shot him. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? And mm -hmm. I like the fact that his teammate, I mean his bandmate came over there and tried to immediate the situation and all of that. But that could have really turned out bad. And all I could think about was my son. You know what I mean? So he needs right. to be punished. He needs to be punished. He needs to be suspended or whatever. They need to make, they need to make him out of an example because at the end of the day, that child was doing what he was supposed to do. I don't see. I looked at that video a million times, and I don't think that I seen anything that that child did wrong. Well, she just sent me. She just sent me. She just sent me the video of like the close up. It is so clear. I'm gonna post it. I think you're live. I'm gonna post it because you can't show videos while you're on live no more. But seeing that like the clear, clear version is crazy. And then if you if you think about this, when you, if anybody that's on here, if y'all think about this, when you when we was looking at that video, that poor child was all into blowing his horn. Don't we? He never even when the officer backed into him, he never even looked at him. He just was doing what he was supposed to do. He didn't turn around until the man pushed him. Right. And he was lost because he didn't even know what he did. He and, he like, lips. and he was like, man, which like what? Like, like what's you know, up? Like, what like yeah. yeah. And, I, and, you know, my heart goes out because, like I said, I understand the fact that the child didn't want it to blow up. He probably, you know, he didn't want it to blow up. He didn't want to be made out of, you know, like he's a bad person and all the backlash and all of that. But at the end of the fucking day, the backlash need to be on the officer because it's day wrong. You have a temper. You're supposed to be there to protect and serve. And at the end of the day, you can't even call the fucking police for nothing because y'all out here trying to fight our kids. That's fucked up. He need to be punished. That's all I got to say. He got a temper. And at the end of the day, that could have turned out bad. And I'm, I'm going to drive. You could drive me with grease, Keith. That's all I have to say. All right. All right. She said he need to be punished because he have a temper. <laughs> they want him under the jail. Because one thing about the tables was turned, you better believe you was going underneath the jail. You was going to have to sit in there. They're going to tell you you ain't got no court date because the judge is on vacation. Bitch, you would have been in there. What you saying? They would have said the judge on vacation and all this and all that. Be look up, please. Hey, Keith. Hi, how are you? 
Good. I was just coming on here. How do I turn this camera off? We can't see anyway, fast. So what's okay. up? Anyway, um, I mean, we the people in New Orleans, we are so sorry that that happened to her son. Right. We stand with her. But can you go ahead and roll um <laughs> the World War Three that happened today? <laughs> We stand with her. We sorry that happened. But um roll out World War what it was? I don't know, it was a World battlefield. Or World War, 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 War twenty four. It was a battlefield key. So um give my girl black up. <laughs> but black I don't think black is um I don't think black is um available right now. Oh that's how you turn the camera off, I write it off. But yeah, go ahead and get um Get my girl. Get somebody up here. They had like eighty nine people fighting out there. Keith. Did get they, the boy I, up here who was recording who said they didn't have no guns, but they had like they eighty nine running. guns. <laughs> I came in the, the girl hopped the fence. <laughs> the girl said, "I gotta call my mama." But we all sorry that that happened to her son. I'm not just. I'm not taking away from that. We sorry right. that happened. Right. But um, we already know that happened. Like. He, that man not gonna lose his job, Keith. We know that. I already so, know that. We know he not gonna lose his but job. But I still fight it, though. I, I honestly wouldn't fight it. I wouldn't go up against NOPD. Why not? <laughs> Just because. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not about to get into another day. All in. <laughs> let me get off here. All in all, um, roll what happened in the night walk, Keith. We sorry that happened to her, though. We we glad she got up here and she fighting for her son. And um, I'm a. <laughs> I'm going to watch on Instagram. I'm not coming to none of the rallies, but. <laughs> they don't take nothing serious. We stand with her, but next. This is too much. Well, I know this. These y'all don't care. Y'all wants to get on this internet. Y'all wants to razzle. People that have been shot. And all of this, they say somebody did and all that, and they still wants to get up here and wrestle it. What do the D, the DA, the police, and ain't nobody else got to do nothing on here. All they got to do is come on the internet. What's going on? You all right? Can't hear. You can't hear? Yeah, so um, I was a, a support vehicle in four of the parades this season with uh, Thurgood Marshall. And I can vouch and say that the police are very disrespectful on the route they don't move and they don't get the crowd to move it was so hard for us to get through like for zulu we lost the float because the crowd was so thick and the police didn't do nothing about it i mean they wouldn't even move from our vehicle oh yeah that's crazy you know and i feel like that's a problem like that they they don't respect the band the band have to hold a line and they know that they would not move right I don't know what's going on. They got to do something. We're going to have to right, get that's on. All I, that's all I have to say. Like, respect the band. You come out here to see these kids, to, for Mardi Gras, to, you know, to do that. Respect these kids. Respect what they're doing. Like, the little boy was holding his line. He was straight holding his line, and it looked good. Like, why would you do that to a child, you know? Right. It's sad. You're right. All right, y'all have a good you night. Too. Yeah, see, they're trying to shut the NOPD you know, down. Next thing, you know, they're going to have a press conference saying no, no more Mardi Gras until we get more police. Y'all better stop. They just want him knocked off now. They don't want the whole thing going on now. But I'm going to keep adding people. All right, they decline. Yeah, that's the next thing will be. Oh, you know what? Y'all got a problem, but you know what? Let's just shut the whole, whole Mardi Gras down until we can get more manpower. And then y'all will say, oh, Lord. All right, Faith. Hey, Key, how was your Mardi Gras? How was it on the phone? It was fine. It was, it was nice. I was trying to throw bees at y'all when I saw with them orange tickets in y'all hand. See what I'm saying? I didn't even come up here for that. Like, I'm All just right, trying I'm to ask you. Yeah, I'm just trying to ask you how your mother was. And, it and was did you enjoy the Nice. Song? How many cars did you put the tickets on? We did two. I did two twenty-two, 
one night. Um, what, yeah. One night? Yeah, we oh. had a ball. Everybody had to get it, you know? Mm, mm, mm. But, so while, you know. the, while the Mardi Gras holidays was going on, y'all were still working putting orange stickers on people's car? Yeah, that's our biggest season. We enjoy it. Well, you was folks. Nah, bitch, you're getting in my business. I called Ubers out there. I wasn't punk because I know y'all was looking. You little no good sucker. They walks around with them tickets and they put them orange tickets on people's cars and all that. The people don't stop out. She said, that's the biggest season. We was on the floor enjoying ourselves. We came back at the parade. They had to took, took the motion that truck. We had to go buy the motion that truck out. Yes, they did. They had to tow the black truck. We had to go un under the bridge and bind the truck out. Boy, that's cold blooded. I don't know what's going on. Uh oh. Here go the queen. Here go the queen of the night wall. Let's see what she got to say. Here go the queen of the night wall. Yeah. Hey, eat. Key don't stop. Don't don't tell me don't start. I'm trying to find out what's going on in the night. Oh, hey, How you doing now? What's going on? I'm Happy Mardi Gras. So good to hear from you. Mm -hmm. oh, you know, I want, I want to say one thing. No, no, you should have a lot to say. The night wall is on fire right now. We on fire. Okay. So here's what I want to say about that. Okay. We have to stop with the fight. It's power in the social Association, when your friends are bringing you and rooting you and now the girl legs is shot up like we need to really sit in that it's funny to watch you know like the shit just say like this, we didn't saw this girl come on this show so many times no disrespect you know yeah i don't know if it was her really fighting yanni that's what i heard i fuck with yanni yanni was one of my students but something have to give so i just wanted to come on and say i really hope i know a lot of my kids be on here this is what i be talking about it's not worth it you, you just don't know like avoid what's avoidable who cares if, if y'all can fight nobody's lay so that's nobody's what i'm trying to get, in get out so like right now they got right now they got 197 people trying to get on here i'm trying to find out what where did this stem from like how did they end up in the streets like what happened i'm quite sure it happened on social media what happened like how did they get to that point because listen Black was outside Tuesday. Black stood by me for about for about 15, 20 minutes Tuesday on Alisa Claiborne. Chilled, laughed, ate. You see what I'm saying? Like, she chilled right there with me and D-Roy for about a good 20 minutes. Huh, an old man? What happened that fast? See, the bottom line, this is what we know. The girl ain't been up here for fighting so much. Like, you have kids, you pregnant, stop. Like, like I just hope kids and other adults could take the memo stop somebody could get hurt somebody could die stop oh, but besides stop. that besides that so stop. i see so the video hmm. so the videos i saw the videos i saw everybody had a, everybody who wasn't wrestling had a phone in their hand hold on i'm playing with my weed well why, why don't nobody put the phone down and stop the fight because we go when we we know that they're fighting we go and see and what i'm saying is the shit have to get played out at some point nobody don't put the phone down because that's what keeps us coming to want to see the ransom but see it's funny it's funny and it's entertaining and and oh lord they fight and this and this and that until it hit home but it's sad you know that's just the bottom line but i hope the lady legs is not gone you know, it's sad to watch how that played out where Mike is recording that video and to hear the audio is just is just really overwhelming. You got kids out there. Again, there's no judging because we've all been some a lot of us have, have liked to see this stuff, but at some point we have to understand nothing changes if nothing changes. They had kids out there. That that girl was with a whole stranger. But how many times have we seen this young lady fight just on here on this platform? Oh yeah, you right. But I we actually with the Roy because the Roy played with a the Roy when I last saw it, which is Tuesday Mardi Gras. The Roy played with the Roy like look, bitch, don't come on, we all that fight. She was like, the Roy, I don't be in all that no more. I don't do it no more. She said, I'm pregnant with twins. You see what I'm saying? The Roy was like, oh, that's your first 
you know, this is your first case. You're totally Fuck no, I got children. I mean, I'm not saying it's all on her. I'm not saying it's all on somebody. I'm just saying nothing changes and nothing changes. And hopefully somebody could let something slide. Or she talked about your mama. She stepped on your shoe. Let it slide. Yeah, you're right. But I'm quite let sure it it's slide. something that started on social media. And I just, you know, like I said, now they got, a, now they got 203 people trying yeah, to get on here. I, I want to know what happened. Like, yeah, but I come on the record and say this night while well, Queen is saying, Stop the fighting. When you see your friends getting upset, go and meet Susie Q over Bobby. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, it, it's just not worth it. And that officer, my last point, <laughs> that officer, my thing is, what happens if somebody triggers him? What happens if he goes to a call where someone gets very disrespectful? That's the scary part about it. You know, yeah. um, you know, I hope it works out for everybody you know tiff LaBoy, that's a very nice young man and it's sad but yeah, he if he is one of these renegades then it would have been a big old brawl you're right but anyway thank y'all my people and Keith all right will cool, wrap up. all right all right so for real like though i mean for real for let's be serious like for real for real, let's be serious about let's be serious about the situation I ain't gonna lie, we get on this bitch, don't get me wrong, we get on this bitch, we go wrestle, we go say what it is, we go talk about it, we don't give no fucks, we go talk about it. But at some point, now let's be real, at some point, when is enough enough? I mean, every, everybody, including me and you two, whoever you is, we go get on this bitch and we go say what we won't say. Because I can't call you because I don't know your number. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I can't pull up at your house because I don't know who you I don't know where you stayed. And if I do pull up at your house, the way shit going these days, you might kill me or something. So why we all run to the internet? We do. We run to the internet. But we're going to start off saying, because you know I'll do this, but I'm on here to do this. You see what I'm saying? Um, but when does it when does it stop? Like, when does it stop? You know, and it's, the, the crazy thing is, it probably I don't even know the story, so I can't insinuate or I can't just say, something but i'm just saying for example it probably started off from crazy a little crazy argument and this will say that and that will say that and never you know what i'm saying and then now nah, look what's going on now keep my sending them to jail for fight i don't understand what you're saying fam you got the i don't know what's going on you something was misspelled or something's going on you got to rewrite it boo i'm gonna just keep adding people on here oh that's City wrestling. City wrestling. And I just say that the girls are the new niggas. The girls, the new niggas. Is the lady the lady who um I see you on here, you know, I don't I don't know if you want to come on here, but I um I see you on here, you know, you you use in my DM you want to fuss with me because you were saying that I'm believing what the people say about um about what the people said about, about you being the 911 operator and you was the reason that the kids got burned up in the house you said a whole lot you, you did me a whole lot but now is your time to come up here because you said in the same breath that you don't do the internet stuff and this and this and that but you uploaded several um posts about what the people were saying um about you so right now you know you're in the, the, you know, the, the, that was a big, big, big incident for the city. Like, that was a big situation for the city. Everybody was upset about that situation with the kids in that house. That was a big old thing. You see what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I totally agree. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. But if I was you, in front of the city you stay in, I would come up here and say what it is and what it ain't. You know what I'm saying? They're accusing you of being a part of the problem because they say that you were asleep when the people trying to call 911 to get help. But then on the flip side, in the logical world, I'm like, well, how is she the reason when we got, got we heard the 911 call and the police was dispatched and the fire department was dispatched. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, she's saying that that's coming from someone who she's no longer friends with and they're mad because she's no longer their friend so they're getting up here saying anything but i just don't understand 
understand what's going on. Especially y'all, them questions you ask before getting them to get to the burning house. Well, I guess, I mean, when they, when they, when, I mean, as a, I was never a 9 one operator, but they're, I'm guessing they're trained to ask questions to keep interacting with you, to keep you on the phone, to keep, so that the more questions they ask you and the more questions you answer while on the phone with them, that's the more, um, like the more, more stuff they could put in the computer and give the police, you know, more, you know, feedback feedback of what's going on while they're on their way on their way to the call so they can know a little bit more when they get there. I don't know. But um yeah I I just don't understand why out of out of the blue they bring this like this come back up. Like I don't know what's going on but I'm guessing it's mad they, and it just goes to show you that when people are mad they will go to their lowest. They will go to the lowest to try to take you down. You see what I'm saying? What the fuck? I'm, I, ain't, I ain't uploaded to, to be seen or I ain't uploaded for no clout because what the fuck I need clout for? Let's start there first. Um, I uploaded it because they say that I'm biased. Sometimes I'm biased with certain situations and stuff like that. But it was just to show that when mad they come with anybody, with anybody, people will go to the lowest extent to try to make you look bad. People will dig deep to try to tear you down. And right there, that was a big, big situation for the city. And for your friend, ex-friend to go that far to tear you down, that means them people never liked you from the beginning. It was the, the whole friendship or relationship, whatever you had, got, had got going on, was fake from the beginning. Because at the end of the day, the daddy was the problem. Because why in the fuck was the daddy going there and do what he did anyway? So, yeah, that's just right there. An example of what people do on Mad Day. I ain't gonna lie, when I'm mad with somebody, I'm mad, but I cut a bitch off and I, and I, you know, I, I ain't, you know what I'm saying, no Christian or, you know, like, you know, but I ain't no fuck the person. Like, that's low. That was something, that was low. That was low. But that's what people do. Tell Key at her, she was the girl who was fighting Yan. Oh yeah, that girl was trying to get on here. Hold up. Because the internet tripping, let me add her. I, and, oh, she was just asking to come up here too. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me add up here. L A N. Oh, oh. There she go. Oh, I'm thinking, you know, I had just said that was Future trying to get on here. All of all, that was, that was her. <laughs> I thought that was a burn page because I saw Future on there. I just, just added them. Let me see. Go, go on my live. See how many people I'm on here with. Like if it's saying me and three other people. If it's saying me or three other people, you ain't going to let me do it. Who want to fight if she lost? We don't want her up here. Oh, all right. So let me see. Let me add up here. Then you know when I hear people texting my phone, not shade nobody, but they texting my phone saying, Keith, don't talk about it because it's under investigation by the police. I think I learned that since we got the Key Carroll show, I think that the police work when they hit the Key Carroll show. Like when they hit the Key Carroll show, that's when the police decide to work on it because not a whole city on this bitch. And they're like, oh, they ain't doing this and they ain't doing that. Ain't nothing being done about it. Then boom, next thing you know, we got results. You see what I'm saying? I'm try trying to add her. It said unable to adjourn. She on here. What's up, eh? Yes, they are able to adjourn. You know what? Let me in the live and come back. I'm about to in the live. Come back. I did lie. I'm just want the five thousand. That's it. Nigga. You, you see? <laughs> Why would she say that? 
I saw that. But you said you was 2701 front of town or something. What that is? Two lane? No. You said you was front of town from behind Bynum's. <laughs> ah, you see where I'm at? The bag bowl. This way I've been at all day. I don't know what's going on. I watched the tape and slowed it down. That's all I did. You know, I'm an investigator. I slowed it down, saw who swung. I just ain't said nothing. I didn't got nothing to do with that because I be outside and I don't need nobody popping me. I got children. I stay mm -hmm. at home. I don't run to the fight. I teach my children, don't go to the fight. Walk right. away from the fight because then you got to stop running. That was a shame. That poor baby said, What's your name? Y'all ain't here. And Siri in the background said, This is Siri. Nice to meet you. Y'all ain't here. You heard all that? <laughs> I slowed it down. So now in the morning, so in the morning, we gonna have to look at a long post from you saying all this stupid ass shit. I ain't saying nothing. I just said it already. Y'all don't want to talk about BC Powder, but BC Powder said what I said a long time ago. The village is broken. Yeah, let me get y'all over here, man. You see, ain't we ain't quote nothing that BC Powder say on you, cause it came from a um, it came from a drugs point of view. So we ain't gonna even discuss what he got to say. Mm hmm. We ain't gonna do it on you. Yes, indeed, we ain't gonna do it on you. Mm hmm. I don't want to hear nothing with, from the drugs point of view. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but I can tell you what we're what, what, what we about to discuss. Yes. Yes. That fucked up ass hairline you got there. Boy, you built like we shaped like a watermelon. No, you need to tell me how your holiday, your birthday was just Tuesday, Mr. Zulu. You still look like Zulu, you nasty bitch. You need to take your, take your mask Listen. off, bitch. I ain't to see what's going on. Who your mama is? I saw your mama in the Bacchus float. Your, ma your mama you, got to be Queen Cone. You or your daddy you, is King you, Cone. You, 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 ugly. Ugly. you is you ugly. ugly. I don't know what's Yo, going on. You so black, you purple, you nasty bitch. Get off of here. Get off of here with your black ass self. You is too black to be purple. Get off of here now. This bitch so black, he purple with his ugly tail self. Oh my God. He was some ugly just now. Yes, he was. Get your little ugly ass up off of here now. We got some real stuff going on in this New Orleans. And you bring your ugly ass up here. We don't want to talk about Zulu or we don't want to talk about the zoo, you nasty mongoloid looking bitch. Get your nasty ass up off of here now. We got a lot going on up here in the city. You nasty bitch. Get your nasty ass from above and scared the whole live and all that. But your nasty tell yourself. And he's still a virgin. Talk about this. He keeps talking about he's sexy with them big long titty nipples. Get your nasty ass from above here. Get your ugly ass self. We got a lot of you trying to get on here. Yeah, they get in my ball piece. I scared the whole fucking life. Now all of a sudden my fucking nose don't went to running. He just scared all of No, bitch. If you take, if, if you take anything else off. <laughs> they got all kind of people trying to get on here. Stop pressing the button to get on here. Then when I accept you, you're talking about decline. Yes, his black is powerful. That bitch so black, he purple. Everybody I'm adding is saying decline. De declining. Well, why is this sinning? I haven't heard nobody. Uh-huh. Hey, kid, I just wanted to say, fuck my baby daddy. Bop, 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 bop. That's that booty me.
Yeah. She acting like that because she ain't getting no um, Valentine's gift. Don't worry about not getting Valentine's Day. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hey, Keith. Hi, how are you? Good. I just wanted to get on here because I'm just sitting here laughing in my bed. All right. Well, I got you off this. Keep continuing laughing in your bed, man. This is a serious matter. They down here shooting and all that now. They shooting and all that. Please be careful. These people ain't playing down here. Be, be careful now. Be careful. I'm going to help you get over here. Because you better believe that they own here now. Watch yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't come up here acting crazy saying the wrong thing. I'm telling you, the people is on here. They sit back and listen. I'm telling you. They're sitting back and they're listening. They're telling you, screenshotting. They're sending you out. You're saying anything red crazy in these comments. They're screenshotting it and sending it out. That's how this live work. Every time I get off live, I get all kinds of screenshots of who was saying this and who was saying that, and I got to go block people and all that. These people is screenshotting what you're saying and sending it to the ops and all that. Watch what you see, I'm telling you. Now, y'all could be on here and see what y'all want to say, like y'all iron chest Charlie. Go ahead on, on. I'm telling you how to fucking go now. I'm telling you how it go. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I'm just looking. You should see all the people trying to get on here. Y'all should see all the people trying to get on here. What is they trying to see? 